You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm on a game called Ghost Blitz. And uh, the box looks giant, doesn't it? And I have it really zoomed in tight. It's a nice little travel game. Uh, it says a reaction game as fast as lightning for two to eight bright minds, eight years and up. I need to get in the box and actually learn more about it. I have never played it before. So let me just show you what we're getting here in the box. We have the instructions, pack of cards, and then some uh, wood pieces. So let's just take a quick look at the instructions. Uh, story and object, object of the game. Belduin, the house ghost, found an old camera in the castle cellar. Immediately he photographed everything that he loves to make disappear when he is haunting, including himself, of course. Unfortunately, the enchanted camera takes many photos in the wrong colors. Sometimes the green bottle is white, other times it's blue. Looking at the photos, Belduin doesn't really remember any more what he wanted to make disappear next. Can you help him with this haunting and quickly name the right piece, or even make it disappear by yourself? If you grab the right pieces quickly, you have a good chance to win. Ooh, let's see. So the game materials. Five game pieces. Ghost, chair, bottle, book, mouse cards. Alright. So let's take a look at these. It's nice this was in a little separate bag so it's not rubbing because it's white against the other pieces. So that'll protect it more. Remember to put it back that way. Ooh, so they said ghost. Let's do them in order. Chair. Bottle. Book. Mouse. Cards. Let's get in the cards. Okay, so Ghost Blitz game rules. Ghost Blitz can be played in two different ways. Ghost Blitz grab and Ghost Blitz shout. Just lay out some of the cards here so you can kind of study them. Can you see some? Here, that'll be neat. While I'm reading, you can kind of study the cards and see all the difference. It's very colorful, isn't it? So let's see. For both games, set up for either of the games, place the five game pieces in a circle in the middle. And I'll put it under here. See that? Here's where I'm reading. So if you pause in a large, uh, you can study that more. It says uh, where all the players can reach them, then thoroughly shuffle the cards to place the deck face down wherever you can see them. Whoever was last in a dark cellar goes first. Ghost Blitz Grab. Quickly turn over the top card and place it on the table so that everyone can see it. All right, let me shuffle these. You've kind of taken a look at some of them. Let me get them in here and see if I can shuffle. You know, I don't think I've ever shuffled on a video. Not that I remember. Let me zoom the camera out a little bit here. Let's see if I can old school shuffle. Probably do it. Did you see my old school shuffle? I used to love playing cards, but I was a card thrower, yes. I can throw cards across a room like this and shoot them pretty far and fast and accurate too. Okay, so that's good. Sorry, I overshuffled there, but I was just excited to show you my shuffling. All right, here we go. All right, so um, so quickly. Okay, so where are we at? Whoever. Okay, so uh, quickly turn over the top card and place it on the table so that everyone can see it. So we're on this uh, top here. As quickly as lightning, you try to grab the piece pictured on the card, but only if the color matches the piece. Blue bottle red mouse okay for example if the card shows a gray ghost and a blue book you should try to grab the blue book and not the ghost because the ghost piece is white if none of the pieces match what is pictured on the card then you should try to grab a piece which is not pictured on the card and is a different color from the items pictured on the card 
So I can't grab the bottle, anything blue, the mouse, or anything red. So what is left? The ghost, right? So their example shows the uh, mouse and the blue ghost. So for example, if the card shows a blue ghost and a red mouse, you should try to grab the green bottle because the pictured ghost and mouse pieces are the wrong colors, okay? Does that make sense? So that goes back to the middle. Now the person actually keeps that, I believe. Let's see. If you grab the right piece, take the card and place it in front of you as reward. This is called your reward pile. If you grab the wrong piece, you must give the player who took the right piece a card from your reward pile if you have any cards. Next, return the pieces to the middle of the table, and the player who grabbed the right piece turns up the next card to start the next round. Okay, so that's off. The game ends after the cards in the deck have been used, so I've got to go through all of the cards. Everyone counts the cards in the reward pile, and the player with the most cards wins. That looks like fun. Let's check out Ghost Blitz Shout. As in Ghost Blitz Grab, the game is played in the same order, and you try to find pieces according to the rules above. But in Ghost Blitz Shout, if a book is pictured on the card, you must shout out the name of the correct piece rather than grab it. If there isn't a book pictured on the card, you must grab the piece. Uh, you must grab the piece. You only have one try per card, so if you shout out or grab the wrong piece, you must give a card from your reward pile to the person who shout out or grabbed a piece correctly. If two or more players shout out the correct piece at the same time, return the card to the bottom of the deck and draw another card. If no one was correct, everyone must return a card from the reward pile to the bottom of the deck along with the currently turned up card. Ooh. Next, return the pieces to the middle of the table, and the player who last grabbed or shouted out the right piece turns up the next card to start the next round. Game ending and scoring. The game ends after all the cards in the deck have been used. Everyone counts the cards in the reward pile. Okay, so that's the same as that. So let's look at their examples. So, examples. So whoever is the first to shout out book gets the card because there is a blue book. Whoever is the first to shout ghost gets the card. Hmm, why ghost? Oh, because the gray is the mouse, so you can't use that. The book is blue and red, so the last thing left is the ghost. Whoever is the first to shout ghost gets the card because there is a white ghost. Whoever is the first to grab the book piece gets the card because none of these match up with anything there the last thing left because green bottle red couch white ghost gray mouse the last thing left is blue so you have to grab that item interesting okay so let's slip a few more I'll play the first way so we have blue mouse what's left I'll let you all figure that one out what would you grab right away I mean you have to really think fast so this is out this is out, this is out, this is out. Right? So let's see if anything lands on a card. Let me just see if one is accurate. Gray mouse, see that? So there is a gray mouse. Boy, you gotta be quick-witted and fast and understand all the shapes. But I think you get the game. Pretty cool. Now, I have not played this in a group setting yet, so I have to try it. There is a blue book. So you have red and the mouse. So that would mean these two are out. You have a blue book, which is wrong. So here again, the ghost would be the one to pick, right? So now the book and the ghost would be out. Red is out and green is out. The mouse would be the last one. Does that make sense? I hope so. So that is the game called Ghost Blitz. And the pieces, that I give you a close enough shot, they're all made of wood. Nicely made, too. Let's take a look at them up close. And I'm going to zoom right in on them. Get this out of here. So that is the game. Thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Remember, you can always check that description below for links or search our channel for more game-related stuff. And that's it. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.